I think there are huge opportunities in economics um, uh, for things like agent-based simulation models that explain the way a lot of economic phenomena work. It's a bit of a dangerous game for a junior person to play because uh, if, you, if you do something that's too far out of the mainstream, you may not be able to get a job and you may not be able to keep playing the game. On the other hand, ultimately, the Nobel Prizes, the real breakthroughs are going to come from the people who step outside of the mainstream, or at least the good ones are. And you know, you've seen it in um, the success of some, some things in economics. For example, the Nobel Prize to Danny Kahneman reflects the fact that psychology is now taken seriously in economics. The Nobel Prize to uh, Vernon Smith reflects the fact that economists have now realized that doing experimental economics with real people and doing experiments just like we do in the physical science or like, like psychologists do is a useful thing to do. Um, you know, the Nor Nobel Prizes to George Ackerl Ackerloth and others reflect the, uh, let's say, an acceptance that deviations from, from perfect rationality, things like asymmetric information, can be really important. You know, if I'm a used car dealer, I may know different things about the car than you do as a customer, and that may have a strong effect on things, or maybe even more germane to economics, broadly speaking, labor economics. The, the unions and the management often are working off of very different information sets. So these, these things are all, I think, examples of how ideas that 20 years ago were still lost in the wilderness are now being accepted. I think the, the young student has to somehow navigate this tricky balance between embracing new things, and not just yesterday's new things, the things that are genuinely going to be new, but staying in the club. And I don't know if I have good advice, because I've, I've just gone my own way and uh, not paid much attention to being in the club, to be honest. <laughs>